You know, I watched the new James Bond movie again last night. Yep. Started it anyway. It starts out, you know, that guy in the mask walks up to the house. And this is, uh, uh, what's her name? Leah Sado's character. What's her name? In the uh, movie? In the movie? Oh, shit. Uh, I don't remember. The pretty blonde girl. Yeah, I don't remember. Kind of pretty blonde girl. Uh, God, I can't remember the character's name. But she's a little girl. Right? Guy walks up to the cabin. Mom's a useless whore laying around on her ass. Guy walks in and uh, she's laying on the couch. Apparently, the guy's pissed because her father, who is explained in the in the films, is uh, has killed his family, and he's going to do the same favor for them. So he <laughs> he puts about fifteen rounds in this broad laying on the couch. He's got a fully automatic nine just executes motherfucker and uh and he's looking around upstairs and the little girl's got her dad's pistol and uh she gets up from behind the bed and puts nine rounds in this guy and shoots him back down the stairs yep <clears throat> madeline that's madeline right. that's yep. right and uh Madeline drags the guy out into the yard, and somehow he gets up. Yeah. <laughs> this is, as it turns out, a dream, yeah. you know. But I think she actually did kill him. You know, because in the previous movie, right, in uh, Spectre, uh -huh. she had said, was that the name of the Yeah, Spectre was the, yeah. the fourth movie. Mm -hmm. She had said that... that she didn't. She said, "I said I didn't like guns. I didn't. I didn't say I didn't know how to use." Have you not seen the whole movie yet? Yeah, I've seen it. Oh, you okay? You I've just, seen the whole movie. Okay, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's better than uh, Quantum of Solace. Oh, sure. everything was better than sure. Quantum of Solace. Yeah, that's the worst. So, of them. but that that scene that, couldn't have been a dream then, right? Well, you're saying the part about her shooting him. No, I'm saying that the the part of him getting up was the dream. of him getting up. Okay. And following her out onto the frozen lake, right, right, yeah. and her falling through the water, yep, and looking up through the ice, right, and then she surfaces while she's swimming. Sure, right. That that was, you know, dream sequence. Or Got it. I don't okay. know what the fuck was going on there, but it's, <clears throat> you know, things get pretty squirrely after that. So. Yeah, yeah. That, it's a pretty good movie. You know, that's going to be the last one because right. You know, for obvious reasons. Yep. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Turn off your volume right now. Spoiler alert. <laughs> but because they kill James Bond at the end of the movie, they kill James Bond. All right. End of spoiler alert. End of spoiler alert. <laughs> but it's a good movie. Yeah. I thought it was a hell of a good movie. You know. But God, Quantum of Solace was... Who directed that fucking thing? Paul Greengrass, I think. Is he the same Bourne guy, right? The, the, the guy who did the, all the... The shaky cam who guy. Who did the last couple Bourne movies yeah. with all the documentary-style shaky, shaky cam shit. God, shaky awful. cam movies need to all be taken off the market. Yeah. I mean, awful. It was, awful. It was popular for a few years. But yeah. it's so damn irritating and annoying. I don't even know what they thought they were doing with those. The Quantum of Solace, you know, you watch it the first time. I didn't think it was that good the first time, but I like to watch these things again. And uh, you just have to fast forward through the chases. Lots of cool ideas in that movie. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no, the director is Mark Fost Foster. I'm wrong about the director. Mark Foster. What else Let's confusing what else he has he done? <clears throat> or do you think that's a function of the cinematography director instead of the director? Director. Well, the director's the director have, is in charge of everything. The director's supposed to be in charge of, input, of everything. Right? Yeah. I'm sure they don't outsource the whole deal. No. Um, where is his? Fil there we go. Filmography. Director. It wasn't the Star Trek movies, was it? No, that's JJ because they were horrible too. Yeah, yeah that's Abrams. A Abrams, everything he does is awful. Clo Cloverfield was uh, cool. 
J.J. Abrams. Yeah. yeah. World War guy Z. Needs... This guy directed World War Z. That, and that was awful. I never saw that. Yeah, I read the book, which was... The book was fantastic. The book was good. But they took a different direction with World War Z the movie. <clears throat> well, yeah. It, they just turned into a generic action film. Yeah, generic nothing, zombie movie. When that's not what good. it was at all. You know, they could have made a decent movie. Out they could have made it where... <laughs> but they chose not to. Yeah, they had multiple stories, right. interviews. No, no. no Brad Pitt do. running around. Can't do that. Brad Pitt running around. Apparently, he's compelling enough. <laughs> Man, a real adaptation of that book would be cool. It would be very cool. Yeah. I was excited for. Yeah, movie. it would be. It sure would be. I was excited for it. You know, and I and I watched, uh, uh, and I hadn't seen this before. Spy Game. Yeah, you ever seen movie. that? That's excellent. That's a damn good movie. I hadn't even seen the damn thing before. But Redford, still kind of young looking. It was two thousand two when this thing was shot. And uh, Pitt, always excellent. Pitt just is an excellent fucking actor. You can say what you want to about his wife, but I mean, yep. he's he really well, he's one of these guys. I think he left has, her because she's that <laughs> has, well. Good. He's smart. <laughs> well, he he got sick of the bullshit. Mm -hmm. I guess he. I think that Pitt and a couple others like Reeves are just regular fucking guys that understand that to preserve. Their ability to play a character in a movie, they have to shut the fuck up when they're not in a movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe. You know, he opened and his mouth. As a result, they don't run their mouth, and I mean, he opened his mouth once about socialism and how it's awful and we don't need it over here. Right, which is obvious. But like that idiot Mark Ruffalo. Oh yeah, he's an what, idiot. Why would you go to a movie with him in it at this point? How would you divorce yourself from his silly bullshit? And Matt Damon is headed in that direction mm -hmm. too. Yeah. You know. <clears throat> oh, and Dune gets here today. Oh, Ooh. does it? My copy. I Excellent. ordered it. I ordered I pre-ordered it. So I'll get my I did. Uh, so, uh, I got a message from Amazon. They're delivered. Supposedly in, um, so, uh, I forgot, who, um, who's the guy that played Idaho Duncan? Um, Aquaman. What's um, his name? Momoa. Jason Momoa. Momoa. Jason Momoa, or yeah. however you say um, it. He apparently said that he saw a, an extended version of it that was four hours long. Of the of Dune? Of Dune. And it They'll had probably a lot of, release that here I hope. Sometime later this I year. I hope, because he described a couple <laughs> scenes, and they sounded really fucking cool. Well, uh, that that would that would be good, yeah, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. So I'm you haven't seen Dune yet, seeing it. though, right? No. Oh, that's going to be good. Mm -hmm. You're going to like that. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I read the book about 40 years ago. Just barely remember it. Yep. And... Uh, the book can be tough to get through. Yeah, it, 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 Frank Herbert is not a... I thought the book was He's great. not I, I, approachable, you know. I, I mean? enjoyed it. I, I read it's it. Too much to, I finished too much it about a month keep ago. track of. Yeah. Yeah. You have to pay attention. But it's, uh, oh, I don't know. It's a, it was obviously an important piece of science fiction literature. But, uh, you know, I don't know if he's up there with Asimov and Heinlein nah, and Clark. Probably not. But, uh, you know, it was, it was, it was. It was. I enjoyed the book when I read it, but it was work. Yep. It was work, and then you know, Son of Dune and Dune's but granddaughter it's like we talked and all this other shit. I didn't read it. It's any not of really. It. Sci it's not science fiction like Asimov and uh, Heinlein. This is right. Whatever s f space fantasy. Would you guys call yeah. it? Yeah. Space but, opera. Opera. Yeah. Space <clears throat> opera. Because that story. It's a, a normal story set on another planet. Because that story could have been told anywhere on Earth. Right. In another, you know, in an. In the past, whatever. Except for the sandworms and shit. You well, know. you can have sandworms on Earth, right? Just not that fucking big. Yeah. Yep. If you could have a sandworm that big anywhere on Earth, what would you have them eat? People. Washington, D.C. <laughs> Just swallow the, the whole, whole goddamn the, bunch of them. The sandworms are cool. Wait till you see a worm. It's really neat. Oh, in the movie? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm sure they are. Yeah. I don't know that they... Big, giant-ass creature. Yeah. <clears throat> as long as you don't ask inconvenient questions like, well, how did this goddamn thing evolve? Oh, who cares? You know, that's who irrelevant. Cares? It's like asking why how Godzilla evolved. Why is there magic dust on the floor of this whole planet? You can't ask questions like that. No, it's stupid to ask questions like Just that. Just enjoy can, it. Can you or can you not be entertained? That's Look a critical question. Face. No, like, no, the, 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 answer, the answer to the question about the magic <laughs> dust in the movie or in the uh, book. 
<laughs> to answer your questions. Well, okay. All right. You realize, that, of course, that, that interesting people <laughs> watching the podcast here are just wondering why we're just having a conversation that doesn't. <laughs> We're, we're getting out of our lane again. Is that what it is? <laughs> out of our lane. We're out of our lane. I'm enjoying this conversation. Like we've got a lane. Well, let's talk about our lane. <laughs> Shall we? 